Right here, huh? Shit, yeah, Will, I'm a, uh, I don't call my, I'm an artist from the west side of Chicago, man. I'm on Sir Mac and Colin, Comac. I make all type of music, man, because I go through all type of shit, you know. I don't try to stay in one lane, you know. I, uh, yeah, that's basically me, man. When you get started in the game, bro, because I, I remember seeing videos when you was, like, a lot younger, you know what I'm saying? Uh, actually, man, I've been I've been rapping so fucking long, bro. Like I've been, I love music. It's uh, I know y'all. If you if you familiar with me, you familiar with Passport Trace. Uh, Tracy lived across the street from me all my life. Like Tracy knew me like when I was a a baby, baby. Right. Like he know my mama, he know my grandma and everybody. So uh, my uncle used to rap. And uh, he was, and you know, Tracy was right across the street. So my uncle and them used to go across the street, fuck with Tracy and them. I used to want to go, but you know, I was a shorty, and you know, you know, I wanted, I wanted to rap, but I never gave motherfuckers a reason to feel like let's take short. Like I, you feel me? Mm -hmm. So uh, I got old and shit, and I started recording myself off the uh, off this program called Mixcraft and shit. And um, I I, I stuck with the shit, and I got uh. Got older, start fucking around, hustling and shit, making my own money. That's when we started paying for, uh, I found the video man, paid a video man and shit. Uh, my first video was me and Mikey. It was called Bussin, B-U-S-S-I-N. Oh, fuck, man. We got that, man. Um, I kept the ball rolling off that. I kept shooting videos, and then um, I ended up linking up with Tracy. So then me and Tracy started, we got our own relationship. I'm going to his studio, damn that every, well, Almost every day or every other day, and um, and folks, he started taking the most serious. He went from just recording to he bought a camera. He shot my first my first solo video. I gave him a hundred dollars and he shot that motherfucker for me. And then shit, uh, my big homie Momac seen it. Uh, like that's a uh, Lil Chris, Lil Chris and Momac from the other side. Like they all fifteenth and Kilo. Me and Mikey all Sir Mac and Colin. And Momac seen that shit. He hit me up like, yeah, shorty, I fuck with you. I want you to get in the studio with Lil Chris. And goddamn it, he started putting money and shit behind us. And that, I say that's that's when it got when I took it serious. When I felt like if a motherfucker fuck with me enough to want to put something behind me, I need to you feel me? I need to put that much faith in myself too. I started and that shit made made us start taking that shit more serious. Me, Mikey, and Lil Chris. So how you link up with Mikey? Because you was like that was your first video. Was he like? You always, it's always been like Mikey Dollars and, and Ill Will or? Mm -hmm. uh, I hustled over there on Sir Mac and Colin and uh, Mikey from over there too. You know, uh, me, Mikey, uh, you know, Mikey just dropped a mixtape the other day called What Would Fats Do? And that was, that was my big, that was like my big brother. Like me and Fats, we went to the same elementary school with each other. I knew Fats all my life. He was like my big brother. He was in and out of jail a lot. And, um. He act, and then him and Mikey, they was also cool too. So it's like, it's really crazy how it is, cause Fats dead now, but he bought me and Mikey closer, and then we started we started making music. You know, I was I was just over there hustling and shit on Sir Mac and Colin and Mikey. He was he wasn't really the hustling type folks to take your shit <laughs> like that. Folks ain't folks can't sit still for nothing. He like to bounce around. Folks like to bounce around and, 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 and you feel me being a uh, he get shit going. So we all came, we came together off music, really. Like uh through Fats, me and uh Fats bought me and Mikey closer. And we started uh it was and that's how that's really how it went. Uh Mikey has had some plugs out south, like in Drove City, cause you know Mikey fucked around out there. You know, Mikey and Louie, they don't do a lot of shit, but they they close. So uh you know, we started doing video we did a video with uh his name was Dirty P thirty. I believe that was his YouTube name, you know, uh, that was one of Louie and them homies that shooting all that, uh, drill style and all that with Pac-Man and all that. He shot, he shot our first video. It was called Real Drill off that motherfucking Young Jeezy, that, that win, 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 win. Oh, okay. That was me, Mikey, and Fats was on there. And, uh, yeah, so we, we took off from there. We took off from there because a lot of people gravitated towards that. That's a lot of people, you know, motherfuckers back then, and we was doing it before it got cool. So it was like during that time, motherfuckers see you rapping. Motherfuckers be too worried about what a motherfucker think. But we ain't care. Motherfucker, we finna be rappers. You hear me? So this is what we doing. So that brought us closer because we had the same, we had that same goal. Like, man, this is what the fuck we finna do. We tired of doing this shit because, you know, we, 
like me, Mike, and Fast, we real ass starved together. Like we was selling drugs and robbing motherfuckers. It was in times where like me and Mikey had a leave from over here for a minute. We robbed a motherfucker and and and, and a motherfucker then I try to like tell on us and Momac had to come grab us and take us so well for a few days. Like we right. used to try to do whatever to shoot our videos and put clothes on our back to shoot videos and all that. So you know, all this shit a blessing. All everything that come from this shit be a blessing, man. And shit, meeting all these niggas and doing all this shit, man, all this shit be a blessing, bro. Cause we we really started off just man, bro. Doing this shit like we was trying, we was trying to do anything to pay for a video, pay for some clothes and hey, shit. That's 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 that real hustle though. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of artists that won't do that. You know what I'm saying? They might got the bread and they will buy some weed or they will buy some clothes instead of uh, putting no. it into their music. You know? Yeah, I got my shit set up now with my distro kid. I be making money off that shit every month. I put my shit right back into the music. I I, I mean I always got videos in the cut and I'm always in the studio and I'm always like. I don't wait for shit. Like, I'm not finna sit around and wait for a motherfucker to give me no free artwork. I'm not finna sit around and wait for no... I don't sit around for shit. I, I, I got too many ideas and I make music so fucking fast. And I'm like, I be having to keep the ball rolling, you feel right. me? A lot of people don't know I was just on house arrest for them. Like, I was on house arrest for like nine months and then I had to go to the joint. Then I came out the joint and they put me on house arrest for another 60 days. So a lot of people don't know that. Like, they feel like, damn, what he on? What he fell back? But no, like, I really do this shit. And I'm, I'm back. Like, y'all finna see a whole lot of my music dropping again. Man, so what's that latest video? I like that joint. It was like, it was real colorful. You had the charger in the background. Oh, yeah, I shot that in Texas, in Dallas, Texas. That's hard. Uh, I like that video. Um, no pad, no pen, too. Yeah. On a, yeah, off Day the King beat. Shout out my boy Day the King. Folks, keep me, keep me grounded and keep me motivated, too, man, because... Whenever I get in like writer's block or whatever, I feel like I can't do this beat, I can't do that, Dave. I always have, man, bro, I need something here. Send me like 10, 10, 12 beats through, you feel me, and get me right back in my mode. So what you was out there in Dallas on? Uh, I, I was out there doing business, doing business with somebody. And you know, uh, during that time when I shot that video out there, it was actually Sasha's birthday too. So I took her out there with me. So she spent her birthday out there and I was out there doing business with my homie and shit. Um, you know, me and Rico be out there fucking around with the with, with some of the same people doing business to them and shit. So, you know, it's a lot of goofy ass shit going on right now that we just gotta sort out and shit, man. Cause you know, all the shit with, with him and folks, yeah. you know, a lot of goofy shit. But you know, I love I love both of them like brothers. So you know, that shit just gonna have to work itself out, man. So how you link up originally uh, with Rico? Me and Rico, we've been fucking with each other for like. Eight nine years now. Um, I was, we was following each other on Instagram, and that nigga had some weed, and that shit was black. Oh um, boy, I DM one boy, what's that? You got some more of that shit? That shit look like some gas. He know nah, I'm all out of that shit, but I fuck with you. We need to do a song. I'm here, yeah. So uh, we go scoop his ass and bring him out here. You know. The pills out there during that time, like this eight nine years ago. The pills out south, they ass was out there popping like. Bart Simpson pills and Transformers and shit. I bring his ass out here and he pop his first real flat pill. Folks get high as hell. He and that bitch tweaking. He wrote a whole verse. He, y'all don't think I can do this shit? He threw his shit on the ground. He threw the notepad on. He, y'all don't think I can do this shit? He threw that shit on the ground. He freestyled his whole whole verse and shit. The hook in the verse. That's we made that song wilder. Yeah, we just been cool as hell ever since. Like you feel me, folks? Then been at my mama house. I didn't slept at his mama house. We didn't. And same way with me and him. Like before we start getting any type of money, me and Rico then start together on some. I, right, you get the weed, I get the food. On am and like that's my boy. So how the whole situation happened with with Rico and and, and bro? Like I, ain't... cause man, you like I said, like I've been fucking with Rico for like eight nine years now, and it got to that point, you know, uh, you know, throughout the hood, like bro, like I'm solidified over here, Mikey is too, but you know. If I fuck with a person, like I know you probably, a lot of people get that vibe from me, like I'm not that talkative and I don't right. fuck with a lot of people. Right. So like say, for instance, like as far as in the rap or, in, or the, what, what, would you, what would you call this, the entertainment, um, as far as that, I fuck with like uh, friends that's not from over here, a person who I could say is my friends, my brothers, is uh, like Don Terrio, 
and um, Rico, like people who I call, yeah, is you good? And they call me, yeah, you good? Okay, I was just checking up on you. Or like people, I can be with them for a week straight. We don't take not a picture. You wouldn't even know I'm with them because it don't, it don't yeah, be that. Okay. You feel me? It, it, like these are my boys. So it was at that point, you know, Rico was over here so much. He had spent the night in a trap with us, all type of shit. Like it was at that point, where, like he felt comfortable enough. Like he, like it'll be times Rico will pull up and folks never call me like, yo, where you at, Rico? Here. Like you know, he was like he was cool over here. So you know, him and Mikey, they had their own relationship too, regardless of how it looked from the outside looking in. People feel like, well, I am in the middle because if it wasn't for me, you know, Rico wouldn't have been out here. But I never forced any uh, friendships between them. That happened, you feel me, naturally. Have it, have it happen. It wasn't. Me making them be cool, they did right. that all on their own. So, uh, you know, that ain't really. I don't really, really want to speak on how they got into it. I don't really want to speak on how they got into it, but uh, it ain't worth it. It really ain't worth it, and it's not as. It's, it, and it's really not. Um, I just, you know, I wish it's bigger shit going on, man. Yeah, and and, and it be fucked up because they, you know. People don't think of it the way I think of it. Like how I say, man, I don't care what nobody think, bro. If I think of both of y'all as brothers, when y'all tweaking, it make me feel like, damn, what the guys on? Because y'all are my homies. So I feel like, damn, what the fuck, what, the, what y'all on? I feel like the guys tweaking. That's the way that shit make me feel. That shit, uh, it really ain't worth it. I really feel like, man, they ain't even got to be cool. Just leave that shit off the internet and just stop talking about that shit and leave it alone, man, because... I'm not gonna pick no sides. I love both of them niggas, man. You know, I, I don't shit. If it was me, like I don't, I don't, I don't expect they don't need to get back cool. They niggas, everybody just need to stay in their lane, man. Stay in their lane and goddamn it, and move forward from that shit. Cause it really ain't worth it, man. You feel me? There's niggas out here who will smoke our ass if they see us and we and, and we worried about. You feel me? It's, hey, yeah, man. I feel you so. I see you also got a, like a real close relationship with uh with Lil Chris. Is it Big Chris or Lil Chris? Cause I still think it's Lil Chris. Well, yeah, you know he changed his he changed his Instagram name to Doctor Big Chris, but yeah. I think that's like to really tell you, like you know, folks really put work in now. Yeah. Uh, as far as you know, a lot of people ain't gonna give you that credit and tell you, oh yeah, he helped me. But nah, Chris asked, you know, he said his big ass right there and pressed that button. He ain't just finna let you say no anything. Chris asked he. No, say it like this, or no, put this type of emphasis in it. You feel me? So, like, folks, it is really like he helps. He don't just press the record button for motherfuckers. He, he'll he help you through the steps of that shit. So, folks, really is like that, you know? I ain't gonna speak like, you know, you know, he didn't say it to people who he helped. I ain't gonna speak on that either, but he not lying. I done seen that shit with my own eyes. Him really help motherfuckers record you for free and put you in positions and let you know that, you know, like I said, even with Momac, he let motherfuckers know, feel like, yeah, this shit possible. I need to fuck with this rap shit. So Chris, like, he really is like that out west. Like, a doc. not even out west, though, because he hit he, he, Chicago, he, period, right now. He fucked with a lot of people. He fucked yeah. with a lot of people, bro. But shit, so the whole out west 290 movement, like, when that shit got rolling, that was like, I remember it was like you... Chris. I never, I got put in that shit, but I never really liked it. That that was like yeah, some, out west 290. I know Chris and them said that they are uh, uh, Chris and them said they started, but you know, uh, even if they did start, you know, Love for us the one who made that shit expanded and it made motherfuckers say out west 290 up like a lot of people. Uh, and it's like, uh, I just ain't want, I ain't want myself associated with that shit. I was. You know, on my songs, I come on, I say it's the Mac bitch. I'm off Sir Mac and Cola. Right. Uh, I fuck with Al West, you know, this is where I come from, and I appreciate everything. I appreciate everybody out West who fuck with me, but I never, I never know Al West 290 shit with me. Or I never, Mikey either. I never really heard Mikey never fell behind that and said I'm Al West 290. But you know, but a lot of people, like, I guess because of Chris, everybody kind of push out together. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because, you know, I, I support whatever Chris do. I support whatever Mikey do. You know, we might not agree with everything, you know, because it ain't supposed to be like that. As a brother, you my brother, I'm, you know, tell me when I'm slacking, tell me what's right and wrong. We might not agree with everything or our choices, but 
as far as this music shit or whatever it is that does help me motherfucker go to their next level, whatever they feel, you know, as long as it ain't no sucker shit, no gay ass shit, you know. Yeah, yeah, I'm I'm all for it. Yeah, yeah. So man, speaking of next level, like what's what's your next big plans? Like it seems like all of your all that other stuff right now is behind you and it's real you really moving forward. Like what's the next big push, you know what I'm saying, for ill with? Uh well like I was telling you before it started, like um I've been fucking with Saeed, the um the actor and shit. I met I got in tune with him cause y'all shared my video and he uh he posted it on his story and shit and I sent it. I'm I am i am like, damn, I was trying to see was it real or not. So I hit him up. I'm like, I appreciate that, bro. But I was still on house arrest during the time, so we weren't able to link. So uh, you know, just recently I got out the joint and all that and got off house arrest. He came up here because he, he don't just act, you know, folks, he a real life businessman, so he dip and dab with the boxing and shit too because he, he got a passion for boxing. So he came up here for the boxing match that was just here like, a, I think, a month, and a, a month or two months ago. He gave me some tickets for it. You know, he came up here and we, uh, then the next day after that, we sat down at his hotel and we chopped it up about business and shit and about what we gonna do next as far as him, as far as the music and shit. So I got stuff coming forward with him and some artists out there from where he from. Like, uh, I've been messing with some artists overseas in France and all type of stuff. Uh, me and, um, it's supposed to be a project with me, Mikey, and Lil Chris. My project, uh, Killer Make a Killer, comes out on the 26th of December this month. Me and Sasha Go Hard got a, a joint project. Me and Rico Reckless, we got we just need two more songs for uh Flats and Guns 2. Uh I got shows coming up and and I'm just uh I'm just working and I got yeah, I'm and I'm gonna I'm doing a lot of shit out of town. Like like I told you, I got doing a lot of business out there in Texas right now. I'm going to uh Atlanta next month, doing some business out there, shooting a video with Zay. And um and it ain't promise. I don't know. I ain't gonna say if I'm gonna do it or not. I don't know, but I might do. Cause if some people don't know. You know, like that the TV show that Sasha was on on Netflix. Mm-hmm. They had originally hit me up, but I was on house arrest, so I couldn't do it. So they let Sasha do it, but I still I'm still in contact with them, and they hit me up for another show. But I'm not. I can't speak on what show it is. I can't tell y'all. But I don't know. I ain't gonna lie. I don't know if I'm gonna do it. Cause I'm really. Only reason I was gonna jump on the other one, I wanted anything to try to get me off the bend, but that shit won't work. And my judge told me, nigga, you heard about a TV show. I'm finna fuck around, send you to the joint. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, shit, I I tried. Like I had to try to hit him with something. I printed, I printed the shit out, showed him that they hit me up. He wasn't trying to hit that shit. So yeah, I got a lot of shit lined up, but really, really, what I'm really on the most is I'm trying to drop good quality music good quality videos on my own youtube channel and drop it all myself and you feel me i'm just in that process right now of generating all my own money and making sure that i'm doing my business right that's really what i'm on right now man and shit yeah really that's what i'm on and oh yeah shout out my boy zobans me and zobans we got some shit too that we finna start working on and I feel like I'm missing out on something because I'm telling you, bro, I've been working. I've been working, bro. I've been going to the... I've been I've been working, bro. I got so much shit. Well, I know, like, you one of the most consistent when even with the videos, like, even while you was on House Rest, bro, it's always... You always have videos up. You always have music coming. So that's, like, that's... It's, your consistency show. Yeah, because you know I, I did. I tried to start doing some shit. You know, it's over with now, so I can't get in trouble for it. But, you know, when I was on House Arrest... I had uh, did some little shit like I had a job, but I wasn't. I ain't really had no job. So like, if I had some time, so I was able to move, I'd try to uh, uh, go to Tracy Crib, record some music, uh, go shoot here, shoot some videos. But I had slowed down on that shit because like the video I'm telling you about that overdose that y'all shared that mm-hmm. Saeed hit me up over. We was on the train tracks, and bro, I had the house arrest band on. I'm not supposed to be over there. I'm supposed to be at work right now, bro. It was a close call. They had the police pull up like, man, y'all know y'all ass on private property. They ass searching my name, all type of shit. I'm like, damn, like, is this shit finna pop up? Yeah. 
So I like, I started chilling out. Like that shit made me feel like, man, I don't want to do this, but I'm finna start shooting all these videos in the crib. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that shit. I'm gonna shoot this shit in the crib. Fuck it. Cause I ain't finna, you feel me? But yeah, yeah. I, I always, I try to, I try to keep it going. I don't want motherfuckers, cause I. Don't, I don't be on the internet a lot really seeing everything that's going on. So I don't I, I really ain't want people to get that that you feel me? Feel like, man, what he on, what he feel back, what he said, fuck this shit. No, that ain't the case. Even though it's my fault, I was out here tweaking, doing shit I ain't had no business doing when I should have been having that man state. I, me being on house arrest made me feel like, man, I should have been focused on music. Now I'm going to Tracy Crib in my spare time when I get when I should have been doing that when I when I wasn't locked down to the crib, you feel me? So, yeah, so I always try to keep it, keep the ball rolling and shit, and keep doing what the fuck I gotta do as far as music. This shit, this shit, really what I love. And I, I pay, you know, we pay our bills off this shit, and this shit, this shit fun. Like I can't, I couldn't stop if I wanted to. It been so many times years ago. When I was saying I'm finna stop and look right up, I'm back in the studio and shit. Like I couldn't stop the shit. So I'm glad I didn't. Yeah, fast, fast. So, hey,